Hi, it's Drake, and uh, this will be my third uh, Patreon book recommendation. And uh, this is going to be uh, Five Meters of Poems, or Cinco Metros de Poemas. This is actually a bilingual edition, which is why I mentioned that. And... Um, yeah, just a little background of the actual book itself, uh, this this copy here. So it's part of uh, the Ugly Duckling Press's Lost Literature series. And uh, this one was published in 2010. And uh, maybe some of you guys will remember when I had just started going to UT, I had gone to the Rare Book Room at UT, the, the Harry Ransom Center. And... I had uh, gotten this book out there and read uh, all of it actually when I was there because it's pretty short. And I thought it was really interesting, but then I just kind of, you know, uh, can't check it out. It's in the rare book room, so I just didn't think about it much after that. And at the time it was a little expensive and just didn't think about it too much, but I always had at the back of my mind that it was really interesting. And well, lately I was able to find a copy and it just reminded me how good of a publisher Ugly Duckling Press is. And, you know, it's, I don't know, I think I take these things for granted to an extent because this is just an amazing book that it just exists. And uh, it was only $25 originally when it came out. Now, unfortunately, you find it for a little more than that. But, um, I mean, this book is just beautiful. Uh, it's actually bilingual edition, a bilingual edition, and it's in accordion format, translated by Alejandro de Acosta and Joshua Beckman. Uh, the author is Carlos Oquendo de Amat. And a little background of the author, he's Peruvian, born in the early 20th century, and died pretty young. There's a biography of him here. If you're interested in reading it, you can just pause that. But uh, as you'll see from the, the title, the cheeky title I have, this is the longest book I've ever read because it's five meters long. So that's the that's the goofy, goofy title there. But as you'll see, this book is in accordion format. So... Uh, you see here, it's English. I dedicate these poems, uncertain as my first words, to my mother. And then if you uh, flip it around, same thing in Spanish. So each page that you see, it's mirrored exactly in the English and Spanish. So open the book like peeling a fruit. And then we have the first poem here. Silk village girl, I'll tie my heart to your braids like a ribbon, because in this fragile cardboard morning, to a fine emotional wanderer, you gave the water glass of your body and the two coins of your new eyes. And then as we see, if we flip it around, it has the same poem. Abra el libro como quien pela una fruta. And then it's kind of interesting to see how they translate different words. Mañanita de carton or carton. Sometimes I mess up the accents. But yeah, the, the poems themselves are um, definitely modernist. Carlos Oquendo de Amat was really interested in uh, cinema, uh, kind of similar to Joyce, interestingly, but uh, yeah, these poems are written in a really interesting way. There's even an intermission where you're supposed to take a 10 minute break between the, the poems and um, a lot of the poems, as you can see from that first one I just read, they're, you know, like kind of unusual love poems and the person that I connect them with in my mind uh, in English poetry is E. Cummings. Because you do have some of the more playful um, 
placement of words and uh, different fonts and sizes. He's no sadness allowed. There you go. That's that's a nice quote there. The moon will grow like a plant. You see there references to 1920s and 30s, the Charleston, Rudolph Valentino makes hair grow. This is just a beautiful edition. Like the printing is just amazing. Apparently there were only a thousand of these printed and um, it has to be one of the just nicest printed copies I've of any book I have. Uh, if you're interested in the background of the printing, there it is. A thousand tells you where it was printed assembled by hand at the Ugly Duckling Press workshop. And um, if you look into their Lost Literature series, it's actually an excellent series. This one was pretty early on. Of course, they've continued doing it until now. But uh, I actually have a few books coming from Ugly Duckling Press that should be here in the next week or so, hopefully. And I'll probably be talking about those too. Um, might not be uh, Patreon recommendations or anything, might just be regular, but um, yeah, looking forward to those because they have a really good Latin American uh, selection like this here. So, Also, an interesting thing, apart from the five meters of poems, they include four of his other poems that were released but not collected in uh, that edition. So have them here. And uh, yeah, this is actually an awesome book of poems. If you like modernist poetry, Latin American poetry, uh, poetry in general, it's it's really good. I'm not sure if I'd quite put it up with the, you know, the top, top level modernist, top shelf modernist like Hart Crane, Cesar Vallejo, who's another uh, Peruvian poet, of course. Uh, Vallejo's definitely better, but I mean, what does that even mean? I mean, Vallejo's better than everyone. <laughs> but I would say uh, if you can get your hands on this, it's definitely worth it. Um, even just for like the, the beauty of the printed edition, you know, like look at that. And then, you know, to see the Spanish. And this is actually what it looked like when it was printed in the, the 20s, so it's really nice. All right, well, hope you enjoyed this one and uh, hope you read it, uh, hope you get a chance to read it. I know it can be kind of hard to find now, but uh, if you're able to, I'd, I'd uh, snatch it up. I can't imagine they're gonna be printing this one again on the like, you know, Bottom's Dream or something like that, one of a kind of a one-time thing. But anyway, um, thank you guys for your support with the patron Patreon. That's what allows me to get some interesting books and recommend them. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoy. I have some interesting stuff coming up soon. So thanks again. And death is a gang boss.